$100,000 for every public appearance and $50,000 for paid social media collaborations. I think Ghana Talks Radio, you have to get ready because we want her to be on the show and we have to pay $50,000 for that. So not to mention, her followers on Instagram have risen to 1.2 million in just a month. While the progress is impressive, it is sustainable as it only puts Fox under pressure to outperform herself in the coming month. So that's what Daily Mew is saying today, that because of Kanye West, Julia Fox, as you know, popular at all circles in life so away from julia fox bts is in the news yes the south korean boy band bts uh put to their first show for their home fans since the coronavirus pandemic began so with three concerts in the capital seoul city next month the agency said this today so the concert part of their permission to dance on stage tour that has been disrupted by the pandemic will be at Seoul Olympic Stadium on March 10th. Yes, you heard it right, guys. Take it on your calendar. March 10th. Yes, 12th and 13th. So, three days. You see how it is. So, it will also be live stream big hit music set that so this is what they said they said we would like to thank all amy yes for patiently waiting for an in-person concert to be held in korea the company said on its online fan platform yes referring to the band's global fan base known as adorable representatives mc for the youth so the post said that you know on uh twitter for us to know that a bts will be performing in seoul city south korea so away from that kim kardashian is in the news kanye is ready to make amends with kim kardashian through communications after deleting a social media post for the on up 10th time yes the rapper come back with a piece making note so the 44 year old rapper share how he has been told that using all caps in his captions makes people think he is yelling so this is what uh, it was written so i have learned that using all caps makes people feel like i'm screaming at them uh, i am working on my communications i can benefit from a team of creative professionals organizers mobilizers and community leaders thank everyone for supporting me that's what kanye uh, says so the father of four went to uh he went on to apologize to harassing Kim after posting his screenshots on his Instagram handle. So he's saying that I know sharing screenshots have jeered and, uh, you know, came off as harassing Kim. I take accountability for that. I am still learning in real time. I don't have all the answers. To be good leader is a good listener. So that's what uh, Kanye West is telling other fans and everybody, including Kim Kardashian. They, oh, should I say? ready to be ex-wife i don't want to use that but that's what it is so back again to julia fox today julia fox has admitted that her fair wind remarks with kanye west was encouraged to be on display for the public eye yes on the recent instagram comment made by the uncut gem star hollywood unlocked pictures Fox confessing that she was asked by kanye to talk more about their romance to the media hmm. that's what she's saying I mean put it I don't believe but fox comment comes after a fan blasted her for dating kanye for the sake of attention and fame so you talk you talk about the man in the press like you were all married just desperate for the attention i uh, wasn't even 15 minutes maybe like two minutes of fame that's what you know the fan said so uh that other word i can't mention it but earlier a source close to the rapper told entertainment tonight that kanye is only dating julia fox to get a strange wife kim kardashian jealous really i don't think she's jealous but kanye is trying to make him jealous by being uh very public with julia that's what the source is telling he is also trying to make a point julia thinks kanye is really cool and is also just enjoying the ride while it lasts so enjoying the ride while it lasts I, I, I think it's ended already so the queen yes royalty i love talking about royalty stories you know it, it makes me feel like royalty yes yeah, so the beckham palace has updated the royal fans about the health of queen elizabeth after the COVID scare so according to the palace the queen returned to royal duties at her wind door Yes, went to Castle resident on Tuesday and carried out her first engagement since fears emerged that she could have contacted coronavirus. 
I believe she has, but she's saying she doesn't have it. So there's care arose after Prince Charles, her elder son, and the heir to the throne tested positive for COVID-19 for the second time. So his wife, Camilla, the Duchess of Conroe, also then tested positive, and the couple has been self-isolated in the sense that is what uh, it's uh, talking to us about today. So Queen Elizabeth on Tuesday held two virtual, you know, um, virtual uh, audiences from Windsor meeting via video link with newly appointed ambassadors from Estonia and Spain. So the palace said that today the queen held audience with incoming ambassadors via video link from Windsor Castle to Buckingham Palace. So that's how it is. But before we continue the stories, yes, cousin uh, Patrick Israel, Patrick, the legendary is in the studios joining us today. What's up, man? Hey. <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm good. Feels good to be back again today. Uh, of course. How are you doing? I'm I'm okay. I'm okay. So you know that um I can label you as the Kardashians <laughs> and you know the worst is it age or <laughs> how should I how should I term it? A fan. <laughs> yeah, a fan. All right. So do you have Fox? You said that, you know, previously getting uh yesterday you said that getting connected with a canny ten yeah. billion yes uh arches uh we'll give her a little fame and today it is reported that she has been running on google searches she has gotten like 1.2 million followers yeah i know you saw this coming but today knowing all the statistics do you think being the kind of in that light even if they were not dating it, it's worth it to the point of you know lying yeah. to the fans of course uh We've had nowadays people are going crazy. Uh, you have we've had several celebrities mm. release their own sex tapes <laughs> so as to get uh, more fame. Yeah. So if you have to uh, uh, reportedly uh, mm -hmm. be in a delusional relationship with someone like Kanye, delusional. Yeah, delusional <laughs> relationship with someone like Kanye, okay. and that that helps your brand to grow. Mm. I don't really think there's anything bad in it. I mean, it, it is business. It is promoting the news. Of course. You understand? A couple of so times. It's still trending. A, li a lot today. of times. Yeah. So during that period, mm -hmm. you would notice uh, if you've been following Kanye, mm -hmm. Kanye hardly post. But during this period, Kanye has been posting back to back. All right. So that has kept him in the limelight. All right. So now when you Google Kanye, you get to see other stuffs that he is involved in. Okay. So it is not just one sided, it is two sided. Mm. They are both benefiting from it. Okay. So right from the start I knew it was it was it was all games because <laughs> yes, the Kanye I know said it from day one. Easy, yeah, the, the Kanye I know mm. I don't want to be racial but, but mm. Kanye does not really like white people. Yeah. Like if I've 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 been following Kanye for a while, for, for okay. a long time. He's, okay. he's my person. I know. So <laughs> so when I saw that Kanye got involved with a woman, white I said, "Why?" You you were surprised. I knew that it wasn't that real. It's no way. Right. Like okay. there's no way. Right. You understand? Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm not surprised that it turned out this way. Uh, I said it before that sure. it's all publicity, mm. and now it's obvious she has confirmed it that it's all right. publicity. Okay, so it is what it is. Talking about this publicity relationship, if I could put it that way. Yeah. Uh, Julia came out today to say that um, Kanye was also involved in it in terms of trying to get them, you know, entangled to make him Kardashian jealous. But you know how Kanye has been looking forward to get the family back. How how should you think that this one is? It is possible because Kanye is 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 human as well. All right. You know, this scenario uh, is like you telling your your friend to to try and seduce your boyfriend to see if he's gonna fall in love. All right then your boyfriend falls in love <laughs> then after he falls in love mm -hmm. you lose him so she's probably scared on the fact that she still loves kanye all right so although kanye might have had a business deal with her in order to make it seem like that's what it is that is what it all is right. but what if in the process mm -hmm. he falls for her then what would have happened that'd be tragic <laughs> so we, we can say okay. uh kanye might have wanted to also use that, too, to, use get that to, to get right. him right. so obviously i mean <laughs> she's human so it, it's expected yeah so yesterday you talk about accountability and today Kanye yeah. has taken up a man out to apologize to uh, kim for you know, 
basically used to uh, talk the way normal people would understand. Mm. But now he's, he's intellectual, you know. He yeah. Uses words so, like b- he but uses now he, he's kind of talking in, in in some tone that that is very easy for people to decipher. Yeah. So obviously we're gonna be expecting more from him, and right. maybe he maybe Kim is trying to hide something, mm. and when he's fi- when he finds out that that is what Kim is trying to do, mm-hmm. he'll come back to the limelight. All right then. <laughs> We'll come back to you too very soon. So yes, that was Israel Patrick. He's saying that Kanye, we, we, we can predict him. So we look forward to see what we happen next and next and next. So still on the entertainment story. The settlement announced yesterday between Prince Andrew and Virginia Goofer allows Britain's monarchy to move on just as Queen Elizabeth II celebrate a landmark 70th anniversary on the throne. The royal commentator said this one. So Andrew 61 has opted against, you know, um, pursuing a jury trial in the U.S. civil uh, case brought against him by the Goofy, who alleges he sexually assaulted her in 2001 when she was 17 and a minor under American law. So instead... He has agreed to make a substantial donation to a charity established by Goofer that supports trafficking victims and will no longer be questioned under oath by her lawyer. So, however, he continues to deny all the accusations against him. They all do deny, but they know deep down that they did it. So, the decision is seen as not only protecting the prince from further highly demanding revelations and attention, but also help limit the British monarchy's exposure to the years long scandal. Yes, we got some gay story connected to the royal family and in last week and it was really, really disheartening on that. But away from that story, Bob Saget's family filed a lawsuit on Tuesday to stop the release of records related to his death because of, you know, privacy concerns. The family of Full House actor does not want to disclose the records because of the graphic nature. But the lawsuit said in the process of these investigations, defendants created records which include photographs, video recordings, audio recordings, uh, you know, statutorily protected autopsy information and all other statutory protected information as well. So upon information and belief, some of these records graphically depict Mr. Saget is likeness or features as part of him and were made by defendant during defendant investigation that's what the lawsuit went on to say though the statement for that goes that it is very simple for a human and a legal standpoint they stuck its family's privacy right outweigh any public interest in disclosure of this sensitive information so they said they don't want to bring it out and uh, it's really sad but we hope uh there will be taught by the lord to go through this pain so away from that kylie jenner older child i'm talking of daughter stormy is in our way of a new baby brother as per a report by people the four-year-old is trying to be hands-on in helping it out 24 year old mother with wolf so she is a cutest big sister that's what the source is saying she is fascinated by her little brother and was being able to hold him of course they love to have kids all the time cousin has been saying it anyway so another insider shared previously that kylie and travis are happy together he is working on new music but it is also a lot around that someone said um yesterday on twitter i don't want to mention the name that how can travis scott be happy and enjoying Valentine's Day and even the the new birth of the baby because he killed people at the Astro World. You can't you can't say that, but it is what it is. So they still don't officially live together by doing what it works best for them. So Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott's son was born on February second. The makeup mogul later turned to Instagram story to unveil the name of the baby, Wolves Webster. Yes, Wolf. There's not Coco Wolf. This is Wolf Webster. So she wrote adding a white heart uh, emotion on it as well. So away from Wolf Webster, hmm, Piers Morgan is in the news and he has fumed Prince Andrew with mockery as the Duke opted an out of court settlement with sexual assault accuser Virginia Goofy. So the TV personality has branded the father of two as several like coward. 
those are harsh for royalty by disgracing the queen with his actions so appears a new column in the sun came after on tuesday few hours after the settlement was established he evaluated that and i quote we don't know how much andrews paid goofy though it will be many millions of dollars including a substantial donation to his charity in support of victim rights but we do know that by paying a massive check to avoid a showdown in court he confirmed himself to be a sniffling little coward whose denial and demands weren't worth the paper they were written on uh, indeed when people when people really do bad things they have to be accountable and punished for that but this was a quite harsh but kind of is here again and kind of was asked to treat carefully Yes, to treat carefully if he wants caught on his side against Kim Kardashian parental feud. Advising the 44-year-old rapper on your podcast, Jess B. Bethany Frankel sent out a message to Kanye West explaining his social media outbursts will only hurt him. Oh my goodness, that's really sad on his part. But she began by saying, I quote, my advice to Kanye would be, you have to stay the course. You cannot go rogue and take matters into your own hands when it comes to divorce and custody process. It will only hurt you. She said that. So Kanye in particular, uh, he is talking uh, into court of public opinion instead of talking to court of custody of children. So, you know, Bethany is advising Kanye that if he goes on doing that, it's really going to be hurtful on his part but still on the west and kardashian family related stories kind of was said thank everyone for supporting me i know sharing screenshots was you know uh during up and come off as horizon came we've talked about that but there is a developing story on that fans of kim kardashian yes the reality tv star are eagerly waiting for response to her ex um husband's instagram post you're looking forward to see what kim will be talking about so let's see what happens we'll definitely update you on that that's how it is happening but cousin welcome back thank you fans are looking forward to see what you know kim kardashian is gonna talk about um in terms of Kanye apologizing of sending out uh personal conversations on social media I want you to predict this one like a football score. What, what, what do you think she will say? Is it going to be angry, vulgar, or what is it going to turn out to? Uh, I think she she would probably be cool on this one because right. she wouldn't want to uh, <laughs> say down. something that would uh. make Kanye go crazy again. So I think whatever she will say would be something that will be appealing to anyone that listens, especially Kanye. Right. so uh, i i don't really think she wants the attention okay. i mean the attention that she has been getting has been of negative from you know okay. from the media so i think now and also kanye is also about to release uh the donda too mm. so she, i think she will probably be present as yeah. well yeah, so yeah. i'm so looking it, forward it to happen. yeah, yeah it, it's okay. gonna happen All right. so, okay. so fingers crossed all right, so the family of Bob Saget is saying that they don't want, you know, putting out autopsy results, recordings and video connecting to the death of the actor. And you know that fans are out there. They love this man so much. They're looking forward to know what exactly happened. On um, part of this one, do, do you think it's a, it's, a, it's a right channel taking that? Because I know they want to keep some stuff private, but yeah, for uh, people also who want to know what exactly happened, the truth in the story as well. No, you, you you don't have to know. Okay. Uh, w- what you need to know uh, as okay. a fan is he's dead. Okay. Take it like that. He's I not see. coming back. Because, uh, you know, mo- these things are very sensitive. Mm. Someone dies, they want to put the pictures and videos out there. You see, the media do not really care. You know, the media do not really care about what the family is going through. What they want is, you know, to, to what they want to do is put the pictures and videos yeah. out there to generate traffic. Yeah. But I, as a family, mm-hmm. I don't want to go online and start seeing pictures of my it's my dad's, you know, blah blah yeah, online. I get it. You know, the media do not care how you feel. Mm-hmm. They don't. They don't care what, what you they go care through. About what they are earning and they what just want to care. get yeah. get their hands on those to to, to generate tra- traffic. Mm. So and you know, the internet is a place where when you put something, it doesn't go away. It stays there. It forever. stays there forever. forever. So if you decide to put those informations out there today, they're going to be there in the next 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. So 
there are some things that are supposed to be kept private. So I think mm. those things are supposed to be respected. Mm-hmm. When a family member says, I don't want to put my father's debt information out there, mm-hmm. that should be respected. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think there should be laws that, that laws are supposed to be put in place to mm-hmm. to to ban media from media from do, doing these things. You know, yeah. Because the same thing happened with uh with uh this guy, the, the, the popular fo- uh basketballer. Um Kobe Kobe, Kobe Bryant. Same thing happened. Yeah. You know, they they put the information out there, you know, it didn't make sense. Didn't. Same thing happened with Paul Walker as well. Yeah. Exactly. So these things, you know, they, they don't really tell where we're about, the, about uh, the, these people, these people you and know, the family and the family as well, you know, they are, they are going through their emotions, they want to be private, mm-hmm. but you want to see those things, why are you going to eat it? Mm-hmm. So, you know, when a family member says, I want to keep this thing private, I think those things private. should be respected. Okay, so chipping in uh, is not part of the story, but I want to chip in because since it's connected to another actor, I'm talking of Alec Baldwin with this, you know, at the shooting of uh, Helena Notchens. Yeah. I, I know it is a, a tragic happening, but today they are taking him to court. He's saying he didn't pull the trigger, this one, but they have still not find out what actually happened. Yeah. So with this issue being private about staff, do you think such issues should be private? Because I know that it is really uh, unleashing more emotions on part of the uh, Hutchins family, and they've come out to, you know, have a lawsuit against the actor and the crew as a whole yeah don't you think it's emotional draining no 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 no. uh i I don't think it's emotional draining uh i think someone has died yeah Mm. uh the person is uh probably the family's breadwinner Mm. you know a lot of people have been depending on her Mm -hmm. to 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 bring in something Mm. now that person is gone you understand? Yeah. Now the person that 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 is report that reportedly took that person mm-hmm. said he didn't do it. Yeah. So are you telling the family to keep quiet and say, Oh, he didn't do it, let's forgive him? You know, they need to even if they even if they're not gonna do anything to, to whoever did it, mm-hmm. I think it's their right to get justice, to know at least know that okay, this what was, was what happened. You understand? This was what happened, this was why it happened. So I don't really think uh, they dragging him to court is, you know, something that should be kept private. Mm. I mean, he hasn't been private ever since the, 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 the issue escalated. Right. So I don't think there's any reason to keep it private now. You understand? And the mm. person is a celebrity as well. So I, and I don't think the media is going to allow them to keep it private. Of course. And if, if they decide to keep it private, at some point it will still come out because the man involved, Baldwin, mm-hmm. We definitely get jobs or maybe not because the issue we definitely start attacking is it will start attacking his career as well Mm. because people some people might find it difficult Mm. to work with him so i I feel like the family uh feel really really broken because yeah they they uh, feel really broken i mean baldwin started shooting another movie we talk about it on entertainment hub last week he did a video on Instagram saying that he was uh, on the way to another shooting. So maybe they feel like uh, this particular incident should have halted. It's still pending yeah, why he's going to shoot another movie. He move on uh, so quickly to you know be in the movie scene in as much as he didn't take care of what exactly happened. He didn't take precautions on that. So maybe it's because of that that thing that's making well, them feel I, like... I, I don't... F- well, maybe. Maybe. But my, my, my opinion is mm. the person that died is dead. The person died last year, not this yeah, year. It's, it's so I don't think you have to mourn the person forever. The mm-hmm. person is dead. Okay. So whatever is going on in court, except the court says mm. he should not shoot. Okay. You understand? Mm. But if the court says he should not shoot, then it goes to shoot. Mm. Then you I can, you know. But that. if the court doesn't say that, I don't think anything is stopping him from going to shoot. No, 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 you understand? No. I mean, the, the person that died w- was not his mom wasn't his dad wasn't his his, his family member yeah. so he he must have probably mourned the person the way he knew he how feel to like it could be you understand yeah, right. so yeah. if he decides to move on now yeah. i don't think it's, it should be chris for okay. so i don't think the family uh uh sh- should keep the issue private. all right so um just be presenter bethany frankel is telling kanye west to find the proper channels in terms of you know the divorce issue and uh you know the parental feud with uh, kim kardashian because if he should take it on what he's doing uh, on social media and all that is gonna hurt him 
uh, more than hurting the other partner who he's looking forward to solve this issue in his way? Uh, you see, people decide to pass their grievance the way they feel like it. All right. You know, prior to this uh, moment, mm -hmm. we never knew what was happening between them. Mm -hmm. Kanye never came out to say this and that. Mm -hmm. Maybe be, before the, the the divorce, maybe Kanye had had tried passing the information right. on the ground right. without anyone knowing about it, mm -hmm. and it didn't work. It work. Now he wants to Bring get her back. Now he wants to make it open At least get because before people. we were only getting uh, information from Kim, Kim so him. we didn't hear much from Kanye. Kanye. So everyone kind of supported Kim, Kim and went him. against Kanye. Okay. So now he's coming out, he he's putting out everything out there. So I put it there to today for you to exactly understand, for you to follow the okay. story as it's right. developing, okay. so that when something comes up tomorrow, mm -hmm. you 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 would know where to stand. Oh, you okay. understand? Yeah. So I. If he's deciding to 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 use social media as a way of communicating media to your partner, yeah. I don't think we should hold him for that. Yeah. Or I mean, social media is meant for communication, anyways. Absolutely. It so is. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad channel. It, it's not a bad channel. Right. If he wants to keep it public, it's his issue. If you want to keep your issue public, mm. keep it public. If you want to keep it private, you keep it private. keep it private. And All if you right. kept it private mm. previously and it didn't work for you, then you have to go mm. public. I see. We hope that we'll be able to solve this issue because it's bigger than even social media. Ed, it's, so it's, it's very big. We, uh, we're seeing that the fans, we don't know what to do to help them to fix that, but we hope that they get the proper solutions to that. Thank you so much. Is your cousin Patrick for joining me on Entertainment Hub on Ghana Talks Radio. So you've been excited talking to him. He's saying that hmm, it's up to people to do what they feel and think it is right for them with uh, you know, solving issues, uh, personal issues, and, you know, public issues as well. So we have to leave people to use what medium or how they want to solve their issues. Thank you so much for joining me and watching live on Facebook, the Entertainment Hub on Ghana Talks Radio. My name is Sandra Asante. I'm down for good, but don't go anywhere because D-Day Coffee Reg is in the studios to take you on the music vibe on the ride from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Only Ghana Talks Radio. See you tomorrow.